Let's do an update on my finish 18 in 2018. It's been quite a bit. Oh, is it a couple of months since I've done an update? So let's get into the products because there's quite a bit. I did finish some products out. Not very many though. I thought I was going to be able to be done with a lot of products a little bit faster, but quite frankly, I should have thought about it better because I'm not one to wear makeup every day, number one. Number two, when I put on makeup, I don't pile it on. And then right now, because it's really hot, I put on even less makeup than usual. I put very, very, very thin layers. So finished products progression is really slow, FYI. Let me start off with my number seven beautifully matte. Still working on this. I think I have about another month of usage. I was down here my last update. I'm now below that, but there is product on the sides and that is what I'm working on now is mainly these sides right here. There's products still coming out. The more I use this, the more I realize that I'm not a fan of this. Uh, it just dries me out too much. It could be because my skin is changing and it's just, makeup is not sitting over. Like it's almost drying me out a little bit too much and I'm not loving it. I'm also really into the super glowy kind of look, even sweaty at the end of the day. I don't really care because my skin's been a little dehydrated. I'm just not. I can't wait to finish this basically is what I'm trying to say. My Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I am below that previous line. That's where I was my last update. I can squeeze down below that. Product is still coming out. And I think it's just because there's product also on the side. So maybe another month of this and then I'll be completely done with it. My Josie Marin Argan Illuminator. That's where I was my last update. This is where I am now. I started up here up here somewhere then I took a really long break from it and I started using it again Not sporadically but in the last week and a half to two weeks I've been using it every time I do my makeup I'll pump a dot and I'm talking like um, I still have some from this morning on my hand I'll mix about that much with my foundation maybe a little bit more and then I'll do another dot of this and then tap it into my hand and put it and the high points of, I already have this product on. But I'll show you guys how I've been using it. I'll just tap it on and then bring it up here. I just have to set it really quick, not set it, but blend it out really quickly because it'll dry out and then it'll leave a, a demarcate, like a line of where the, the highlighter is. So I try to work with it kind of quick, but it's really, really beautiful. I've been loving it mixed in with foundation on its own i also whatever is on here i'll bring in i already have some on but i'll bring it here and this has been a really easy daily look for me and because it sets it doesn't crease it looks really nice i've been into that super glowy look lately very minimal glowy look basically and that's all I've been doing. All right, my Studio Fix foundation. I have no marks on this, but I started somewhere up here. And hopefully, you can see where the product has settled down. It is down to here. So I have two weeks to about a month left of this. Again, because I don't use a lot of this product or foundations in general. Especially lately, because it's been so hot, I'll grab less than a piece size amount or about a piece size amount and mix it in with my Josie Marin, blend it into my skin. I did a get ready with me on my Instagram stories. I'll leave my Instagram down below. I think it was a live, it was a live video, I don't think. It was a live video and I was getting ready in the morning. My NYX little brow powder, I had pan on it. I don't think I had pan on this the last time that I did my update. If I did, it was a little dot, like a needle sized dot. But now I've hit pan on the darker powder. I'm gonna declutter this. This is just not working for me. I have it on my brows today. And it's just, it's like one of those shadows. How do I explain this? Like one of those shadows that you put on your eyes and you blend it and you almost blend the shadow away. This is what's happening with this product here. And I uh, just don't have time to play with it. I have to play with it for a long time in order for this to stick to my brows. And even then it doesn't even stick where I have really sparse hairs. So I'm gonna declutter this, but I'm gonna move in another brow powder in its place that's working so much better for me. My tattoo, uh, colored tattoo in creamy beige, there is pan on it. I don't remember 
I should have watched my previous video. I can't remember if I had pen on this before and it, it's not pen from me moving product around. It's because I've been digging into the center quite a bit. I also dig into the sides as well. So there is progress from my last update, but this is a product that's going to take me the entire year to finish, maybe longer than that because I don't I don't wear it every day and there's a ton of product for the of this of this in Hmm. There's a lot of product in that little that little pot. Anywho. All right, my Wet n Wild um, Brulee Shadow. I've expanded the pen a little bit from the last update. Not too much. But, you know, it's going on. It's a, it's, a, it's a shadow that I mix in with my Frappe Shadow from Makeup Geek because this is way too light for my skin tone. I have to mix it in with something something a little bit deeper so that it gets a little bit closer to my to my skin my l'oreal infallible shadow there's a little bit more of a dip in progress i used it for a week straight and then i've been using it here and there but it's not a shadow that i want to um that i feel like using every single day if i have pictures i will from my previous update i will pop them in or i would have already popped them in this video if not i'll link my video my previous update down below my primer from milani that's where i was at the intro one of the updates last update product is still coming out but i'm able to squeeze now down to here so there is product also kind of like the face primers there's product on the side walls here did i mention my bronze boosters from physicians formula i have no progress to show on this i have been using it though um but i've mentioned in my last update all i pick up is what's on the lid here which is very little i have tried putting it on my decollete area i started i got a rash and a rea an allergic reaction from it so it's not a product that i can use in this area I can use it on my shoulders I'll grab a little bit of what's on the lid and just put it everywhere where I want the glow because the color doesn't really show up on me from this product more than anything the shimmer and the glow shows up which is really pretty especially for summer you can see it looks really pretty. I love it. So I use it mainly as a topper. Vamplified, I've been working on it. The product just doesn't go down. Or I can't see any gaps yet. So I use it. I just don't use it as often. Lesson learned. I will never ever repurchase a, a brown lip gloss. Because this is like a lipstick lip gloss. Because it's very pigmented. And I love brown, but I just don't like it in a glossy form, not on myself year-round. It just doesn't look the best on me. I have my Master Conceal, and this is the concealer from Maybelline. Let me mark it here. This is my previous mark, and then now I am down to this mark right here. I use the smallest amount of this. So that's where I was. Intro, this right where the black line ends. That's where I am now. Super small dot every single time. And I do mix it in with a foundation. I literally use that much. So this concealer will last me the entire year, maybe longer. Infallible foundation from L'Oreal. I am at the bottom. Like I, I can squeeze it all the way down. Product is still coming out. This product I've been using mainly as a liquid bronzer. So I only put it in the outer parts of my face. All right, Yash from back. I'm still using it. I can't find my little booklet where I had all this marked, but I'm still using it. I have the smallest little bit left. Let's talk about some products that I have finished in a previous update. Oh, actually, same thing. This right here. Oh, shoot, I forgot a lip liner. Hi, Diana. Oh. I thought I was prepared. Devoted from Stila, still using it. I have it on my lips today. And I have, I think, Fave for Fuchsia or Flashy Fuchsia from Maybelline. Mixed in with Yosh from MAC. So still working on Devoted. And then I forgot one lip liner, which is the one from Givenchy. Uh -huh. Sorry. All right. I had finished in a previous update my Maybelline uh, Define a Brow. This one was finished. I did finish my Sonia Kashuk powder. Let's see if we can 
Oh, there's a little bit left. I thought it was done. I was trying to squeeze the last little bit out today or tap out the last little bit out. But maybe you can see that's what I have left. I'll finish it tomorrow, maybe the day after. But I'll consider it done because I am going to be adding another powder. So not done, but done technically. All right, my Lorac powder, I did finish this one out. I think I had the outer part of the little waffle. There's powder still in the outer parts here, but I was able to completely finish it off. You see that? I finished off my Touch of Spice lipstick. I'm really sad about this because it's really pretty. I know I can repurchase it, but I'm trying to work down my lipsticks. I'm not gonna dig into this because I have so many other lipsticks that I need to go through. So that one is done. That's one, two, three so far, because this will be done by my next update. I'll consider it done today. I'm also gonna declutter this Urban Decay liner. I don't know if I should declutter it. No, I won't declutter it. I'll use it. I'll finish it off. I'm such a, I struggle with lip liners. I mean, um, what is this called? Eyeliner so much because I use it all the time. I'm not an eyeliner person all the time. And I, I find that whenever I use um, eyeliners is when I'm doing like a full eye look and I don't do that very often. I'm a once in a while kind of I look girl, kind of girl. Anyways, I'll, I'll keep it in, but I am gonna add in another, another eyeliner. I'm gonna add another foundation in because I will finish my studio fix before my next update. And um, I don't want to um, lose or miss the opportunity of working on on a foundation. I'm adding in a powder which is my Max Select Sheer Pressed Powder. This is in NC45. It looks really light because of all the brights, but it's a little bit deeper. There's a slight little dip in it, not very noticeable. I don't use a ton of this powder, just a little bit. I'm gonna add a brow pow from uh, The Balm. This is an eyebrow powder. And this one has little, little bits there. Just a little dip, smallest little amount there. This powder is so much better than this powder. I don't need a lot of it. I also would like to be in focus. <laughs> uh, I don't need a lot of it and I find that I enjoy this so much more than this one because it doesn't take a lot of product. I'm gonna add a cream blush. This is a blush that I've been sticking to every day. <laughs> This has been my routine, okay? I've been mixing in my Studio Fix with my Josie Marin. I haven't even been using concealer at all. This is pretty much what I stick to every day that I do, or every time I do my makeup. And I'll even bring it up here, which is why I haven't been using concealer. And then I'll apply this blush here from Stila. I don't know the name of it anymore, but it's one of their convertible blushes. I don't particularly like this on my lips although you can use them as a lipstick kind of product, but I do like it as a blush. It's so pretty. It doesn't last all day, so I do find that I need to reapply this throughout the day. And I have to be kind of careful with it because if I have um, product underneath it, sometimes it tends to lift it up, but it hasn't been doing that for me, so that's pretty good. This, I have a really good pan going on. I don't have a lot of product left of this. I think I have one more product of this, another one of these, and I would like to get them out just because they're cream products and I've had them for a while. I'm also going to add in this double wear lip mm -mm, eyeliner from Estee Lauder. This is in Burgundy Suede. And I'm adding the, this in because it's really pretty, it's very creamy, but it doesn't last on my eyes as well, so I would like to work this one out. And I feel like I would be better at this than the gray one because this I can wear all the time. To wear the gray, I can't really wear it with every single eye look, and this I can get away with, with it a little bit better. Okay, I think that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry I was all over the place, but I'm trying to get these videos recorded so that I can get my updates um, uploaded. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye.